Hi, I'm Rick Rosenberg, owner and inventor of Stan and Fish Kayak Fishing System. Today we're going to do a full installation on a kayak, and before we get started, I'd like to point out that it's really not very difficult to do as long as you follow the steps that we're going to set forth in this video. And if you need, employ the help of a handy friend or handy person, and you'll have no problem with the installation. Okay, we've emptied the shipping carton and we spread all the parts out on a sheet. And included in the package are obviously the pontoons, the pontoon arms, the lift channel that mounts permanently on the kayak, the leaning post, X bracing, the accessories such as the rod holders, the cup holder, and the paddle keeper, and then all the miscellaneous parts to complete the process. Okay, here are the tools needed to install. A battery operated drill, a standard rivet gun can be purchased at any Home Depot for about $20, number two Phillips head screwdriver, standard pliers, lighter, utility knife, I bring a couple of Sharpie permanent markers with me, number two Phillips for the drill, number three Phillips, which is a larger size for the drill. We've got four drill bits, 1764, 1364, 530 seconds, 964, and 330 seconds. And finally, we have measuring tape. Now that we've opened the shipping carton and spread out the parts, we've got our tools ready to go. Let's go get started on the installation. Okay, the first step in the process is to install the leaning post. This is probably the most difficult step there is because it's a little unwieldy holding the leaning post in place and trying to mark it. It does help to have a second person help you with the installation, holding it in place and kind of figuring out where you want it. What you want is you want the leading edge of the padded leaning post pretty close to even with the seat back on the kayak. That'll give you a comfortable standing position. Also, this in this case, we've actually purchased some double-sided scotch tape, foam tape, and we've got a little piece underneath each one of the feet for the leaning post, and that's kind of holding this thing in place in, in lieu of having a second person help out. Okay, the tools needed for this step are battery-operated drill, a rivet gun, the markers, and depending on the fastener you use, either the 332nd drill bit or the 1364th drill bit. We're now going to use the marker to mark the holes at the locations where the fasteners will be installed. If you find it difficult to get the pen in there, you can just mark the outside edge with a little tick mark, the four sides of the foot and then remove it, take the foot off and install it. Now there's two fasteners you can use for this step. Fastener one would be a rivet and you got to remember that these rivets expand underneath the kayak so you need a half inch diameter roughly for them to expand if you don't have room for the expansion. Option two is to use a number 12 screw. And if you're going to use these screws, you want to use your number three Phillips head bit to install them. And you'll drill a 332nd pilot hole for the screws to be installed into. Okay, on this kayak, we have the room for the rivets to expand underneath the surface. So I've chosen to use the rivets. And in preparation of installing the rivets, I'm going to use a thir drill 1364 holes for the rivets to be inserted in. You'll obviously repeat this process at all four locations. I'm now going to rivet one of the feet in place.
using the rivet tool. And there you have it, foot one foot installed. Repeat this process at all four locations. Okay, the rear angled support from the leaning post actually has a universal joint on the lower two inches. You'll notice I can rotate side to side as well as the foot will rotate in the other direction. So that basically allows the foot to conform to any surface and you just kind of rock it back and forth in this case we have a little bit of an angled deck but you can see instead of the foot facing front to back it actually tips into place by virtue of this universal joint okay now that we've permanently fixed the feet to the kayak you'll reinstall the leaning post to the kayak and you may note that the pins will not slide all the way through the hole if that is the case just get it in one side and leave it for the moment what you'll do is get all four on as best you can and then if need be you'll take your 1764 inch drill bit and ream out that hole that's that needs to be done most often on most kayaks should be noted that you want to make sure you hold the upper portion of the leaning post support down against the two inch piece here so it doesn't slide up and create a problem while you're drilling. Now I'm changing over to the number two Phillips screwdriver bit and install the number eight by five eighths pan head in the hole to lock the joint into place. And you'll notice when I work the drill into the metal, the screw, I kind of milk it and that helps, helps the screw go through the metal easier.